Welcome back to my YouTube channel. The most commonly asked question that I get is, what is your favorite dance routine from Dance Moms? Well, I have a few, and I always say, number one is where have all the children gone? Because I was able to pull out a win with one kid sitting in a swing, swinging back and forth, and another kid pushing the swing. Who wins a dance competition with a kid in a swing and another kid pushing it? Me, yes. And I just think that it is crazy that I was able to pull that off. And that's why it's my favorite routine. However, before Dance Moms, before a television show, I used this same music and did a really creepy, freaky, crazy routine with a young man, a teenage boy, playing the role of, uh, you know, the speaker and all the little girls. And it was really good. And it was a winning number. And that's why I wanted to reuse it on the show. And another interesting fact, uh, the network, you know, they never wanted to pay a dime for any music. They wanted it all given to them for free. Yeah, like that happens. So I reached out to this uh, man, the artist who did the music, and he gave it to us for free to use on a huge television show. So that's wonderful, and I continue to thank him day in and day out. So here we go. Let's see what I thought of where have all the children gone. Had I been judging, Well, thank goodness she was on the music and heard it right at the beginning. It's so hard to watch these numbers because the camera people are all over the place. Like they're shooting me in the back of the auditorium instead of shooting the kids. Nice aerial walkover, shoulders really square. Yep. Why aren't we looking at their feet? There we go. People were talking in the audience like rude. Nice. Look at Mia. Look at Mia. <laughs> so good. Oh my God, her feet were not pointed behind her page. Okay. and the swing keeps swinging. That was the coolest part, because afterwards, it just kept swinging and swinging and swinging. It was, it was crazy. What I find nice about the piece is that the camera was never on Maddie. We saw her, a, a flicker of her at the beginning uh, when there's a big accent in the music and something else is happening, but the camera's on Brooke, but Brooke really doesn't have choreography for that big accent. She just is coming out of one thing, going into the other thing. And somebody else on stage had that big accent, but the cameras missed it. And there was a glimmer of Maddie. So she's nothing in this number, which is nice to see the kids winning. And then uh, I see Chloe do this. I see Nia do this. Uh, we see a lot of shots of Vivian on the swing. Uh, and Brooke does a beautiful area walkover with her shoulder square and her hip square. So many kids are online doing these acrobatic tricks and they're not doing them correctly. Take my acro class on Fridays. Let's watch this one more time. See if I see anything else. If I was judging what I would pick up on. Great, great eye content with Brooke. She's right in the judges' faces. The mothers, we don't need to see with their bad calves crossing. This woman with the camera, I don't know who she is. Okay, Maddie does a little thing there, but nothing. And she does the leap to the knee. Someone's running across the stage. That was Mackenzie. The girls go back to the swing. We do the aerial walkover. They tap. They do the drag. They do the curtsy. The fan kick. Chloe's elbows are hyperextended. She knows not to do that. The attitude turn was beautiful. Good girls. We see Mia do a Cison. That front foot needs to degage off that floor. There's some acrobatics going on. Mia acts all the way. Paige is looking over. There was a big tilt in the back with Chloe and Maddie, but I didn't really see it. Maddie does a saute. Her, she's not degaging that foot off the floor either. And that was it. It was quick, quick number. So if I was judging, 
probably out of 100, I would have given it 99 for the concept, the musicality, the choreography, but then the technique, probably in around the 88, 89, 90, 91 range, and uh, cohesive together. Well, that's hard to judge because some kids were doing this, other kids were doing that. We were looking at Nia exiting and the acting. So it's hard to judge uh, if they were together, if they were uniform, if they were in sync because they weren't supposed to be in sync. Good idea for choreographers that can't get their kids together. Just saying. Let's take a look at the new version, the newer version. So now this is the third version of Where Have All the Children Gone? that I actually have done in my lifetime. Because remember, I did it before the show ever started. Then we did it on the show. It was iconic. And now I did it again on the show. Just to prove a good number is always a good number. Here we go with version two. Oh, beautiful leg. It's hard to see where he was when you're not looking at it from the front. Does the same little knee bend with the feet that Brooke did. Oh, such focus from Maisie. She's really like a precise dancer. She's impactful with her movements. Paige looks beautiful. I'm sorry. Bryn looks beautiful. We're tying ribbons and trees oh. swinging from the branches. So good. Their technique is so good. And they're so together. These four kids who never even danced together are so together. And this young man is just elegant and, and such... Gorgeous technique. Who remain wandering oh, good Lily. Good. Like abandoned. Her acting could have been a little bit better there. Oh, Where such focus. Such focus. The children gone. Maybe. That Maisie didn't really have like that balletic leg feet thing that I look for, but she is so intense when she dances. So intense. So beautiful. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, the acting is... These four kids on stage are gorgeous. Just angelic looking, and that's what I wanted them to look like. They were angels in the aftermath. Look at their faces. They're just beautiful. Look at Bryn. Oh, bravo. Yeah, I would have given that a 99 out of 100 for technique, for the precision. They did a lot more of the choreography all together in sync. Uh, that's what they were given, and it showed off. But their faces, you know, why each one of these children don't have their own show right now on a major network, I don't know, because they were so angelic. And the young man at the end... His face is just really, really freaky and weird. And I love it. That was great. It was a great number. I didn't use the swing. It didn't have the same concept. We didn't have one person jumping. We didn't have somebody getting stabbed. We didn't have somebody getting choked. You didn't see it all, but you knew it from the first one. And even the judges probably knew it. So when they saw this piece for the second time, it was even better. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a dance that was similar in concept, in choreography, in costuming, but it was also different in the technique, in the choreography, in the concept, you know? And I did it and oh my God, it gives me chills. I did not see that number. Uh, little known fact, I did not go in the theater because I went in and there were a, a line of a couple women in the back and they were antagonistic. They were yelling at me. They were just creating havoc. And I thought, forget it, I'm out. And I walked out of the theater and I didn't even get to see my own kids. They think, but I actually watched them from the lobby on a monitor. And uh, that's sad when you can't go in and watch your own students. However, I was a nervous wreck. So it was better that I was out in the lobby watching on the monitor. I don't need the crap from some other parents. I don't even know who these people were. So there you have it. That's my opinion. 
Uh, that's how I would have judged it. It's hard when you see it on a video. When you're there and you're speaking into a microphone and you're commenting as you see the choreography, it's a little bit easier. So watching this back, I'd like to watch it a hundred times. But really, in person, you don't get that opportunity. So there you have it. Those are my opinions. And that's what I think of where have all the children gone.